In this video, we will continue on decision tree classifier. So, we saw that decision tree is uh, developed in 1996 as ID3 algorithm and lot of variants of them is uh, used in the current modern uh, tools. Let us look at what is ID3 algorithm uh, that actually to answer two things which node to choose as root node and where to stop. Okay? This is a very uh, key question we have to answer in the decision tree. So, let us see with this particular uh, table uh, you have attendance, midterm marks, final marks is greater than 70, you have seen this table multiple times. Which node to choose at a root node and where to stop? I am not going to explain uh, uh, solving decision tree in this particular table, but I am going to explain the mathematics begin which node to choose and where to stop and uh, you can apply that uh, formulas on this. Uh, it involves only two things, one is entropy and uh, information gain. Uh, you all might know what is entropy in your field, the entropy is different differently in different fields like uh, electrical is different, mechanical is different. But uh, let us see um, uh, it is to measure the uncertainty in the data, okay? that is the example let us use it here in computer science. Entropy of X is particular uh, entropy of particular S is the complete set, you know complete data is property of S, um, so that is that's entropy formula it's simple like let us why to simple. So, entropy of S is this, this is a formula. Um, minus p i and to log p i. This i uh, is number of classes you know if it is uh, binary it is yes or no classes it is 2. If it is 4 classes to classify in decision tree it will be 4 something like that. So, probability of um, uh, p i uh, number classes. So, p i is probability of yes and p 2 is probability of no. So, if you apply this to a 2 class problem like uh, yes or no probability of yes log probability of yes and probability of no log probability of no that is exactly given in this equation. The log 2 uh, check this base so it is very very important you know the 2 classes that is why we use log 2 base the 2 base. Okay. If you compute this with log 2 base value for the previous table uh, point um, previous table let us see how many yes and how many no. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 out of 7. So, 5 out of 7 uh, is 0.71 and uh, 2 out of uh, 7 is 0 0.29. And if you compute that in this particular log 2 value, um, uh, log 2 base, then it is the value 0.87. What does this 0.87 means? Now it says entropy. And what is this particular 0.87 means? Should I uh, consider this as a good or bad? What is this 0.87 means? Let us understand what is entropy uh, with the probability, a simple. Uh, diagram. Okay, so the diagram is not clear. Okay, this is the probability value. This is the entropy. Okay, entropy of yes. So this is point five. This is 1 and this is 0 and this is 0.5 and, and 0, something like that. Okay. So, probability value as 0 or 1, the entropy will be 0, you know, the probability value of 0 or 1, entropy will be minimum for two class classification program I am talking about. Entropy will be very minimum, that is 0 entropy. For probability value is equal to 1, uh, so, if probability value is 0 0.5, the entropy will be maximum. So, let us try to understand what is entropy measures from the probability value. So, this is, this is maximum. So, what it tells us uh, in a previous example, uh, consider I have, um, um, I have uh, uh, 30 students passing the exams and 30 students failing the exam. So, probability of passing the exam, probability of yes that is a pass the exam is 30 by uh, 60 total students. So, 1 by 2. Uh, so, 0.5 right probability of passing the exam is 0.5 which means opposite the probability of uh, failing also 0.5. If there are 60 students of, of them can be passed some of them certainty is not this uncertainty like it is no it is like equal value. If you pick any student it can be either pass or fail. So, always 40 percent probability. So, the entropy is high. Okay. 
consider I have um, uh, I have a probability of um, uh, I have this uh, so same 60 students um, I have say 59 uh, 59 students pass and only one student fail right so which means prob probability of yes is 59 divided by 60 it's almost one you know point uh, no, point 0.9 something point 0.9 for something maybe so it's almost one uh, if probability of s is almost one the entropy will be very minimum okay so that tells the uncertainty to classifying this thing is very very low so if you pick that value uh, any student from this class you can say pass because uh, 59 out of 60 pass only one time it will fail but so that is why the probability if it is a equal amount of both S and no or black and white or the two classes entropy will be high if the number is less uh, like it is only black or only white uh, the entropy will be low. Our aim in addition tree classifier is to bring that entropy equal to low not high because I want to make a decision of one leaf to be this student will attend a class this all students here will not attend the class. So, my aim here in decision tree is to bring that entropy value to as minimum as possible that is it that is a that is a basic uh, concept of what is decision tree works of. So, in a previous example if you look at that um, see 5 by 7 2 by 7 it is almost uh, you know um, uh, it is 5 by 7 and 2 by 7 it is almost uh, what to say it is it is it is it is not uh, like a 3 by 7 or something, but 5 by 7 is also not exactly 6 by 7 by 7. So, if you say 0 0.71, uh, 0 0.6.7, if you plot that value, so 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, if you plot this value, okay, I am sorry, um, it is go something like that 0 0.9, some, it will be 0 0.8, so some this something we are computed in the entropy. That is exactly the formula we computed in a two class classification problem. Uh, that is entropy. So, which node to choose? Now, you can understand which node to choose. You have to um, apply uh, entropy uh, on all classes. So, there are uh, 7 classes, entropy is 0 0.87 and you have to select uh, one of the feature and create uh, one of the application say the attendance is high. If you put the attendance equal to high, what happens to the entropy? if information gain uh, entropy is reducing or not. How do you know the entropy value is reducing or not? It can be computed by the information gain. Let us look at what is information gain. Uh, what happens is uh, it takes the entropy of uh, the complete set right without making any uh, decision. Uh, they are all root. Uh, so, entropy of complete set is um, 0.87. I am not taking any decision just uh, given a particular student uh, whether student will pass or not I just make a decision out of it. So, I will I will be true about 71 percent of time that is 0 0.7 and probability, but we want to better classify right. So, this is a given set entropy divided by if I want to divide uh, divide this uh, if you want to divide this uh, make a decision tree out of one of the feature. Let us say I will select one feature um, the feature I selected is um, midterm marks right. So, I consider the midterm mark as a node ok you have to select all other features and select different values for features let us take midterm marks as the node and uh, if I consider midterm marks as the node and uh, what will happen is uh, so midterm mark as a node so I have selected one value uh, so let us see um, if I select a midterm marks as a node we need to compute what are the classification you can make from the midterm marks. So, uh, the my root node consider my root node is midterm marks now you need to make a decision whether you want a two trees uh, two branches out of it or three branches out of it the two child or three child I make a two child one is say greater than 50 sorry less than 50 and one is greater than 50. So, I make a decision here right. So, how this number comes up it is all also the machine like you have to compute different numbers or you can make it to different categories or that is all about how do you start with that. 
So, let us say I will take a midterm marks root node and I computed only 2 decimals less than 50 and more than 50. Okay. Now, my there are 2 values to be there that is a values uh, v uh, so 1 uh, values of the particular a that uh, midterm marks uh, that is 2 only 2 let us consider there exist uh, 2 different uh, classification in this particular midterm marks. Uh, I am not uh, talking in a mathematical term to explain this uh, value because my idea is to you to understand what is information kind, what is uh, entropy in a general sense. Uh, if you want uh, again I am telling if you want to really know uh, mathematics begin all this, want to use exact mathematics terms or the values please go ahead and read in the internet. My idea this course is for, uh, for pre-request none which means I want to keep the maths as slow as possible but explain the core concept behind these algorithms. That is why I keep it uh, as easy as possible. But uh, if you are interested get motivated by this video I request you to go and check uh, in internet and read more. So, let us consider the midterm marks as a 2 values I want to make a 2 decisions less than 50 more than 50 only 2 values. So, that is uh, exactly 2 values which means um, what happens here is entropy of S yes, um, this um, okay, this is basically um, uh, less than 50 marks there are 5 students who got less than 50 marks there are uh, say more than 50 marks 5 students the 2 students out of 7 got less than 50 marks. Let us look at the table again once um, okay. in a midterm mark um, yeah that is that is exactly here. There are 2 students who got uh, less than 50 marks uh, and all other students 5 students who got more than 50 marks. Right. So, let us classify it. So, let us see uh, to all the 2 students who got less than marks is no and other than other students had uh, like a past exam. So, so let us come back here uh, when you come back here um, there are 5 students uh, out of 7 uh, who got um, you know less than uh, uh, get 50 marks that is exactly this class this is what 5, seven, five by 7 here. Uh, complete set how many people are uh, particular value the decision you are making 5 by 7 entropy of um, getting more than 50. So, we saw that probability of students who are passing more than 50 is 1 if the probability of uh, if the probability of um, uh, uh, 1 which means entropy equals to 0 you know. Uh, similarly, probability of uh, uh, less than 50 uh, we are getting probability of passing the exam is uh, 0 which also equal to 1 uh, like it is also 0 okay, both are 0. If it is 0 this value will be 0 complete 0. So, uh, the entropy gain is the current entropy that is 0.87. So, there is no information loss. So, maximum gain you select the node which has the highest gain. Uh, to the to as a root node. Okay. So, the some other uh, if you pick some any other node or any other decision maybe instead of 50 I pick a 40 uh, you might have a different uh, value uh, then that value will be less gain. So, you have to pick a root uh, root node which gives you the maximum gain and the gain will be computed by the current uh, set uh, the this is currently a root node maybe next step it is not a root node maybe next step some other decision can be taken. So, then uh, the the decision you want to make then you compute this information gain formula then you compute it. So, for example, in this particular time if less than 50 you can simply draw uh, that is it it is simple the station tree of this particular um, given table is very, very simple yes or no that is only one root node. Try this uh, decision tree with much complexity you create your own uh, data you know. Uh, with the 30 students attendance, 30 students midterm marks and 30 students engagement in the class, 30 students are submitting assignment in time and their interaction with the Moodle or something like that. You create a big table and also why and compute and see how this uh, decision tree is made. Okay, That is the idea. Let us see um, uh, that is uh, what is a root node and you want to know when to start is no more conditions to make. Suppose you have seen all the conditions all decision has been made. And also all the options belong to one group uh, consider uh, you already made achieved everything uh, to be probability 1 or 0 ok all of all the students will be in here 0 s or only no. If you assume that particular uh, reach that level you have to stop the decision tree. So, 
you have seen decision tree right, uh, what are the drawbacks of decision tree learning, list down two points. Please list it down, after listing it down resume the video to continue. So, the complexity increases if number of decision increases, okay. uh, it looks very easy if you have say 5 levels or 10 decisions to make the tree looks good nice. If you have say very complex problem have uh, 15 features, uh, 20 features and uh, each has a different values categorical more category not just 2 decisions more decisions to make the tree will be very very complex to look even it is visually good, but you would not understand anything right because it is too complex tree. And uh, decision tree has a very very uh, main drawback that is vowel fitting. It tries to uh, create a decision tree for the training data variable. So, it performs very good on the training data 100 percent accurate, but on a test data it is not uh, it is not known to perform well just because in a training data it takes all the small uh, conditions it tries to create a new branch for a fixed set condition, but in test data it is not possible. So, uh, that is a bigger problem. And, uh, and the greedy search algorithm I mentioned um, in the, the starting of this video there is a greedy search uh, uh, tree. Um, it means uh, only local decision mode uh, might lead to the um, nest decision, it is not possible. You may, sometimes you have to combine uh, decision of 2-3 features to make a good decision, but that is not possible in decision tree. Also, it is not applicable uh, for continuous data, uh, you have to make a decision splits before you start a uh, decision tree. But uh, latest algorithms automatically makes bins based on the probability of each bin. So, that is not an issue. So, I said there are two problems right, uh, there is complexity and uh, pruning. So, complexity and overfitting that can be solved by pruning. What is pruning? It is basically cutting out the branches, uh, trimming the tree right. You have to, your tree is very dense, too big and too, uh, no, too dense. So, you have to cut down the branches to make it trim so the tree can grow further uh, and makes looks good. Exactly that is what happening in the decision tree also. Here uh, what they do is uh, they cut down the branches which makes not much uh, decision then to cut down the branches to reduce the complexity. Also cutting down such kind of uh, pruning helps uh, in uh, better performance. So, in the sense it helps in uh, improve the performance of the uh, uh, decision tree in the test data set also. Okay. That is other two advantages uh, disadvantages, but that can be solved by the pruning methods. And uh, other um, other uh, disorders also can be taken care of by the latest machine learning algorithms. So it's not an issue. So uh, in this video, we saw what is uh, decision tree uh, learning, and uh, I request you to go and uh, try decision tree in uh, tools and uh, check it out. I did not uh, give a complex problem uh, for decision tree, but uh, I would request you to practice uh, decision tree using the complex set of problems with more features, more decisions to make and see how it works. Thank you.